So it's it's really utilizing that sort of two concepts that I just painted, but also as part of the AI tool, um, I mentioned about acquisition and analytics, but you really have to look at the future scenario planning elements. You know, with with you know five years ago, nobody would have expected how COVID could have impacted even the ongoing aspect of having COVID in the first place. So everyone's five year plans were out the window, right? It was it was obviously not something that would ever materialize. Mm -hmm. um, now, I'm not saying you got to plan for all these other sort of global pandemics that may occur, but my point is, is saying is that utilizing AI tools to help you do a vast multitude of different scenario planning based upon these early warning signals that you might get from your technology or from the vertical market application, these signals that will help you identify where there could be some noise happening that you might need to put together some scenario planning around. So that element that I'm, I'm referring to is more around the predictive nature of AI, yeah. which is another component that's very important. However, one of the other things that a lot of people leave off of their, their intelligence value chain, so to speak, is the fact that once you have the predictive nature of it, you have to have what's called prescriptive nature, not, not only saying what's going to happen, but what you should do about it. And that's a much more challenging piece because these could be things that could, could be maybe within the, 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 the core competencies of your organization, but many times they're not within the core competencies of your organization. You have to make some decisions around how you can augment your product and services portfolio to accommodate some of these changes that you might see coming down the road, um, which leads itself to having organizations that are much more nimble and flexible in its manufacturing and, and services uh, capabilities. So as you can probably tell, there's a lot of different chains of, of discussion that we can go down, work streams of discussion that we can have around this topic, uh, which we can probably do many seminars around, many webinars around, but my whole point is that you have to really look at this ecosystem and understand how AI can help you gather more knowledge and better knowledge to, to make some decisions within your organization. That's great. And I love the perspectives you're giving us on predictive versus prescriptive and the fact that you have to implement those technologies and talking about technologies, thinking about AI as well into narratives guessing those scenarios, being able to do some predictions around signals, stuff like that. I love the idea. And it, it is true that it's something that we're dealing on the day-to-day -day basis with Reportlinker as well, working with our different pools of clients and use cases. And it's all about how do we anticipate? How can we know that someone is moving or what signal are we looking into? And it is true that we're talking about hard technology, data, and you know, data is only good at the input, right?